Hi, Benji here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I put together this Euro to breadboard PCB that I've designed. It's a simple little utility module that would let you connect Euro rack power supplies onto a breadboard. In this demo, I'm using it to prototype a low frequency oscillator that controls my filter. I'll run you through the build process, but first, let me thank PCBWay for providing me with the boards for this video. I'll add links to the build files in the description. I'll also add links to the PCBWay community page where you can order copies of the Euro 2 breadboard PCB directly from them. Thanks PCBWay for supporting my project. Now, on with the build. This one's a pretty straightforward module. It features a toggle switch, a couple of bulk capacitors, indicator LEDs, and a choice between a 10-pin IDC power connector, which is the Eurorack standard, and a 3-pin JST connector that I use for my personal builds. I messed up the dimensions for this version of the PCB. It's slightly narrower than the breadboard. I already fixed this on version 1.1, but for now, I'll try to make this work instead of waiting for a new batch of PCBs to arrive. To make sure that the pins fit, I set them on the breadboard first before soldering. I then bend them a bit so that they reach the PCB holes and then solder them when attached to the breadboard. The pins will end up crooked but it works just fine. After soldering a couple of pins, I transfer the board onto my helping hand and finish off the soldering from there. Next up are the resistors for the LEDs and the LEDs themselves. I do the same thing with the power connector. And the bulk capacitors. I also messed up the holes for the toggle switch. 
they ended up a bit too tight but as you can see I was still able to force them through. This is also fixed in version 1.1. The rectangular markings underneath the toggle switch means that you can use a couple of wires to jump those pins if you don't want to use a toggle switch. There you have it, I think we're done. It's now time to check if it works. Both red rails should be connected to positive 12 volts. in this middle section should be connected to negative 12. Links to the documentation and build files for this project will be in the description. Let me know if you built it and thanks for watching.